This is an instructional video which teaches you how to install the TED 5000 into your breaker panel. Although installation is quick and easy, we do recommend that you hire an electrician or some other certified professional. Once you receive your TED package, review all the included components. You will find one gateway and an Ethernet cable. If your solution included the display, you will find one display, charging stand, and charger. Your solution will include at least one measuring transmitting unit, or MTU, with a set of current transformers, or CTs. Included with each MTU-CT set will be an MTU power cable. Also included in your MTU power cable bag is a very small red plastic sleeve. To save time, go ahead and place the red sleeve over the red wire. Let's begin the installation process by turning off all power to the circuit breaker panel by turning off the main breaker or main switch. Next, remove the circuit breaker panel cover. Before installing the MTU, note the six digit ID number on the MTU label as you will need to know this number to set up the software. Even though the main breaker has been turned off, please note that the conductors feeding the main breaker are still electrically charged. For ease of installation, once you unravel the power cable, bend the tin wire at a 90 degree angle. If you have not already done so, cap the red wire on the MTU power cable with the small red plastic sleeve, which is found in the cable bag, as you will not be using the red wire. You can also secure the end of the red wire with a wire nut. Note that the black and white wires will be connected to the breaker panel. When connecting the black wire, the wire must be connected to the circuit breaker supplying power to the gateway, or a circuit breaker that is on the same phase or leg as the gateway circuit, which is the breaker powering the location where you will be plugging the gateway in within the home. For example, when looking at the breakers in your panel, on either the left or the right side as this applies to both, the first breaker at the top of the panel is powered on leg A, and the breaker directly below that is powered by leg B. From the top to the bottom of the panel, each breaker alternates between leg A and leg B. If you are powering the gateway from a circuit that is on leg A, you will need to also power the MTU from a breaker on the same leg. It is now time to connect the black wire from the MTU power cord to a spare 15, 20, or 30 amp circuit breaker in the panel. Next, connect the white wire from the MTU to the neutral bus on the panel. Now that the MTU is installed, it's time to connect and install the current transformers. Install one CT over each incoming power line, A and B, by pressing on the handle to open the split cord, then clipping it over the power line. The CTs must be installed with the red polarity dots facing toward the power source. If both CTs are not installed in this manner, the readings will be inaccurate. Do not expect the CTs to fit tightly around the conductors. Connect the CTs and power cable to the MTU by plugging the plastic mating connectors together. Note that the conductors are polarized and can only be inserted one way. Do not force. Next, determine the best location to mount the MTU. Choose a location where it will not interfere with existing equipment or wiring. Attach the MTU with double-sided tape if allowed in your jurisdiction or with sheet metal or machine screws. Next, arrange and tie wrap all wiring in a neat and tidy manner. The installation is now complete and we can turn the power back on. The MTU will blink quickly approximately 10 times when power is first applied, then begins blinking steadily every few seconds. This is showing that it is transmitting data. The breaker panel installation is now complete. Before replacing the breaker panel cover, let's first install the gateway. When choosing an outlet for the gateway, make sure that it is the only device in the outlet and is not plugged into a plug strip. You can now plug the gateway directly into an outlet, not a plug strip. You should plug the gateway close to your internet router or computer. Once you've connected the ethernet into the gateway, connect the other end of the ethernet cord into the wireless router. It's now time to install the optional wireless display. Start off by noting the six digit ID number on the back of the display. Next, 
plug in the power cord and take the other end of the power cord and connect it into the display charging stand. Next, insert the display into the charging stand. Once you set up your footprint software, you will begin to receive real-time data from the gateway.